Well, praise the Lord in Jesus' holy and blessed name. What a beautiful day it is to be in Jesus. So, amen. Amen. Brother Tom is with you here, and this is a ministry of Jesus Christ. And today, brothers and sisters, a message that upsets many can't be helped. The truth is the truth. And we need to understand it and understand it clearly. All right. Today in the world, you would think that there are many ways to get to heaven or to come to God. Well, there isn't. There's only one way. And it's Jesus Christ. That's it. Jesus is the only way. We can't earn it, buy it, steal it. There's no other way around this. There's no other name. There's no other form of godliness that will do Jesus. In Acts chapter 4, that very famous verse to many of us in the faith, neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. That pretty much says it pretty clear right there. There, it, Neither is there salvation in any other. Oh, if you've been deceived into believing that there's some other way into heaven or some other way to know God, the one and true living God, there isn't. That's a deception. There is salvation in one and only one. There is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. There's a word must there. Must. The only way to the Father, the only way to heaven, is that we must be saved. And that salvation is in one, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Jesus Christ is the Lord and the Savior. We know from John 14, 6, Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Jesus speaking. Jesus declares that there is no way to the Father but by him. Supported by the wonderful words here in the book of Acts. How wonderful and glorious. Jesus is the way. There's no other way. He is the way. You can't climb up some other way, get in some other way, no other way around it. There is no other form thereof. Jesus is the way. He is the truth. He is all truth. He is the truth, capital T, truth. All truth finds its basis in him. Yes, it does, for he is the truth. And he is the life. He is the life that is the light of men. He is the light that lights the, he is the light, capital L, Light is the light of the world. Is the light is the light of life. He is the light. So he is the way, the truth, and the life. And no one, no one, none, not one, not no how, not no way can come to the Father but by Jesus, by him. It's it, the only way. Hallelujah, it's in Jesus Christ. He's your hope. What he has done for you is the hope. What has he done? Paid the price of your salvation, the forgiveness of your sins. He bore them upon the cross for you. If we accept his invitation, saved. It's not Jesus plus works or, or anything. No, don't. No one need go there either. 
For Jesus and works won't save you. Jesus will save you. Works have nothing to do with it. Jesus has everything to do with it. In 1 Corinthians chapter 15, he says, Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I have preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. For I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. There it is. That's the saving gospel message. Jesus. The Christ. The only begotten Son of God, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. This Jesus, this Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. He who knew no sin took upon himself our sin and bore them on the cross. His shed blood, the price of our salvation. Brothers and sisters, I'm not sure if you can hear the sirens on the recording, but when we do hear that, just a short break, please, as we pray, O oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, our Lord, that you'll be with those involved, your touch upon them, that they might know and glorify you be with them in their time of trouble. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right. I have to do that when I hear the sirens again. <laughs> By which you also are saved, if you keep in memory, these, this is it right here. Jesus, his shed blood, the price to be paid. The innocent blood of the Lamb, capital L, Lamb of God without blemish, without spot. He who knew no sin took upon himself our sin and went to the cross and died on that cross and said, it is finished. It is finished. He was buried in the tomb and on the third day rose from the dead. Father, raise the Son. Jesus is alive. Our Lord is a living Lord. Our Savior, a living Savior. The only begotten Son of the living God. When Jesus asked the disciples, <coughs> excuse me, when Jesus asked the disciples, who do men say that I am? Some said, well, you're Elijah John the Baptist come back. And who do you say that I am? Peter speaks and says, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Our Lord is a living Lord, raised from the dead, resurrected, a living Lord and a living Savior. Oh, and hallelujah. And this living Lord and living Savior who came just as it was promised that he would the first time is coming again. Soon, sooner rather than later. So today, if you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, today's the day. Accept his invitation by grace through faith in Jesus Christ. It is the gift of God, eternal life not of works, lest any man should boast, but the gift of God to you today. Yes, indeed. Receive Jesus today as your Lord and Savior and be saved. For he is the way, the truth, and the life. In Jesus' holy and blessed name, in Jesus' holy and blessed name, he is.